Omelette's on location today over in Vivi, Indiana, talking to two of the stars of a movie that's going to be made for television, Richard Crenna and Lee Remick. Do you get a chance, Lee, to make movies like this in small town settings? I have in the past, yes, a few times. I love it. It's beautiful. Do you get a chance to really come in contact with the people? Well, night? we have here. We've met a lot of people from Vivi because we've, uh, we've been here a week. We shot at the fair for three days, the 4-H fair, so we met a lot of people there. It was great. What about you, Richard? Well, this is... Uh, I've, I've filmed almost all over the world, and I don't think I've ever met people uh, uh, as friendly as the people in, uh, in Vivi and all the people from Madison and the nearby communities that have come down to visit us here on the set. It's been a lot of fun. It really has. It's a delightful day and a delightful town. Well, Why was this place chosen? Well, um, the producer, uh, Fred Brogger, was looking for a, uh, a location that, um, that would be uh, typical of, uh, of a small town in Indiana in the uh, late 1930s. And, of course, the, uh, the homes that you've seen here in the background are so beautifully restored and so beautifully kept that it's, uh, it was just a natural location for the film. Mm -hmm. And then we threw that in with the, uh, with the VV 4-H Club Fair, and uh, we all really combined. had it all going. Yeah, we had everything in our favor. One of the questions I often ask actresses and actors is whether they watch themselves or not. Do you? No, never. Why? No, it hurts. It I think hurts. that's always surprising it's, to somebody who's not in it. Well, if you've done it, you'd, you'd know. it. Uh, I find it very uncomfortable, and it doesn't do me any good. It doesn't help me. I don't learn a thing. But, are you super critical of yourself? Yes, always. And But usually of things I can't do anything about. Such as? Sort of, oh, I don't know, the way your hair curls or the way you walk or... Not the way just, you're acting. No, I can't be objective about that. Sometimes I can when I've seen things that I've made, say, five five years earlier, but not something I made three months ago or six months ago or something like Still that. Still too recent. Yeah, it's funny. Some people don't uh -huh, get bothered by do. it, but I do. What about you? Well, I think uh, I share Lee's feelings. Uh, we have a marvelous director, Delbert Mann, and uh, when he said it's good, I like to rely on that. Uh, I think very often as actors, we, uh, we have a false sense of adrenaline. Sometimes we're, we're secure in the playing of a scene because uh, we feel comfortable, and, and it may be because we've played it so badly. <laughs> it may not be because it's right at all. It felt easy for us, and that may not be what the director was, uh, mm -hmm. was looking for. I think if, if you watch too much of yourself on the screen, you, uh, you have a tendency to say, oh, gee, that was kind of cute. I like that, so I'm going to do that again. Mm -hmm. That's effective. I want to do that. I think, I think it had, you have a tendency then to start playing tricks rather than playing... Uh, than playing honest character. And also, when you look at yourself, it's like listening to people who, who have not had any experience on film. Uh, it's a, it can be likened to the first time they've ever heard their voice on tape. They said, do I really sound like that? Because I have this image of what, uh, uh, of what McHenry looks like, the man that I'm playing in this picture. And, uh, and when I look at myself on the screen, I say, no, that isn't the guy I'm playing at all. <laughs> You've been so <laughs> successful, though, and you've had in so many TV series as well as movies. What what do you owe your success to? Not to be uh, stereotyped or get in well, the Well, I think, I think that's it. I think sometimes you, you have a tendency to feel that, uh, that versatility can, can uh, work against you, uh, and yet I think it's, uh, it's the reason that I've been uh, a survivor in our business, frankly, because uh, I've never really been typed. And I've played a lot of roles that might have typed me, mm -hmm. like Luke McCoy mm -hmm. on television and uh, Walter Denton and uh, things like that. But I, I've been able to play a variety of things, and I think that's really the reason I've, I've been able to survive. And, and it's been what's made the business fun for me, frankly. I know I've admired Lee in so many different roles. You have, I guess, too, also not avoided that well, yes, I think it's important to um, make sure that you don't fall into the trap of playing the same things over and over again. Very often, producers tend to send you scripts that are similar to what you have done before that they thought was good or was successful and or whatever. And it's up to you. And you have to be uh, sure that you know what you're doing and not fall into that trap. Do you have a favorite role that you've done in the movies and oh, many films you've made? several. I don't know. It's hard to say. To you know. pick out one. Yes, it is. There are several that are favorites. Um, I, oh, I, I well, you, I know the difficult. one that comes to my mind, Days of Wine and Roses. <laughs> yes, I love sure doing a lot that. Of people. I love doing that. It was a marvelous script and wonderful part and Jack Lemmon. And, you know, it was, it was a super experience, really was. Are there some roles, some characters you haven't played you'd like to? Uh, well, all sorts. Uh, yes, I, don't, I couldn't tell you a particular story right now or a famous character or any of that, mm -hmm. but uh, I look forward to, you know, hopefully a wide variety to come. Do you have children? Yes, I have. I have two children, 15 and 13, Are a girl and a boy. Are they interested in acting? Not a bit, yet. I, I wasn't either at 15, so That's there's true. no telling. But How did you, the bug bite you? Well, I studied uh, to be a dancer, actually, for quite some time, starting you know, as a very little girl. And so my first job or two were dancing ones, mm -hmm. and then they'd 
wanted someone who was dancing who could say a few lines and it usually ended up being me and that led to a television play and so, so forth and so on like that. Does acting come easy for you? No, never. How do you go about getting ready for, for oh. instance, in this role? <laughs> is it, it a varies. different procedure each time? Yes, it is, depending on the material, the character, the director, all of those elements that, you know, you, you hope for a director like Del Man to someone as understanding and mm -hmm. good and thoughtful and considerate and so forth as he is to help you. Uh, sometimes you don't get that and uh, yes, you either flounder difficult. or you, you know, it, or you have other actors to help you to bounce off, whatever. It always varies. What about you? Does it come easy for you to get into a particular role? Well, yes and no. Sometimes it does. Sometimes some roles are, are, uh, are more easily uh, grasped than others. Some require a little more uh, um, uh, probing, something that you may uh, be playing that, uh, that's out of your personal experience. Mm -hmm. Because I think most acting, you, you reflect on, on your personal experience. I think as an actor, the thing that you find later in, in your career is that... Uh, uh, the most difficult thing you can do as an actor is to reveal something of yourself and uh, uh, that's very difficult to do um, because we I, I think it's it's been said by psychologists and psychiatrists that uh, some actors uh, go into the business of acting uh, for the purpose of avoiding their own mm -hmm. existence and their own uh, identity uh, I don't feel that I, I really don't I think that's an oversimplification uh, but uh, uh, it is it is uh, it's not easy. It's not an easy job, but it's fun. Well, you two make it look very easy, and I sure appreciate you giving me a Thank few you. minutes to talk with you. Enjoy Lee it. Remick and Richard Crenna here in VV, Indiana. Thank, Thank you. you.